Loki has found... Oh my god. Rest in peace, Gamora. Baby girl, this is for you. Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Mary and I make regular reaction and review videos. So hit that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on notifications so you never miss a video from my channel. Also the uncut version of this video as well as every single MCU movie up until this very point is available on Patreon as well as Star Wars, Lord of the Rings, and much, much more. So if that's something that interests you, definitely check out the link in the description bar below. Before I get started, I wanna quickly thank Ryan Ernst for sponsoring these MCU videos. When you suggested it to me all those months ago, I was like, Iron Man, it kind of rings a bell. I think I've heard of him. I was completely lost and you've helped me so much in learning everything about this world and also sponsoring these videos. So huge shout out to him. Drop some love for him in the comment section below. Thank you so much, Ryan. I don't want to jinx it in case it doesn't work, but I have waterproof mascara on and I've worn a setting spray. So hopefully if I do cry, it won't be too tragic. Anyways, I think I've said everything I want to say. And without further ado, let's watch this movie together. New York 2012. So back when the Avengers first got together. Oh wow. Wow, call back. Maybe smash a few things along the way. I think it's gratuitous, but whatever. Uh, <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Ancient one? Oh, hey, ancient one. Haven't seen you in a while. <gasps> oh my god. Oh, wow. He took. Oh my god. He took. She took. She took Bruce out of the Hulk's body. And Asgard's back! 2013! Oh my gosh, Loki! His mom. Don't do anything stupid, Thori. Are you crying? God. God, his hair. It looks so greasy, too. Get it oh, baby. <laughs> oh, oh, man. She has been through a lot. <gasps> Gamora! Oh, missed you, babe. <laughs> Oh no. She's linked to her future self. Oh, Mr. Rogers, I almost forgot that suit did nothing for your ass. <laughs> I think you look great, Cap. As far as I'm concerned, that's America's ass. Oh my lord, he is such a kiss ass. <laughs> All right. There you go. Flick me. Oh <laughs> I love how he has his butt out. <laughs> What do you think? Maximum occupancy has been reached. Oh, yes. that's so mean. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> Cap, I thought you were oh, yeah. This right? scene. Change of plans. Oh, yeah. Dudes from Winter Soldier. That's okay. <gasps> Things that he he did a little bit different. Oh, yeah, he made it seem like he's with them this time. Smart. Oh, he's still doing the stairs. <laughs> uh, may I ask you where you're going? For lunch and then Asgard. Uh, oh, Alexander Pierce. He's the man. Alexander Pierce. Turn that prisoner over to me. Uh, Loki will be answering to Odin himself. Oh, he's gonna answer to us. Oh! Oh! Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Medic! You got some help? Oh! Oh, my God, smart. Oh, my gosh, Loki! Oh! 
How good? How good? Oh my god, fucking... You idiot! Oh, Loki. Loki has found... Oh my god. Loki, you idiot! Oh lordy! I have eyes on Loki. Fourteenth floor. Oh! Oh my gosh! Shit! This is crazy! I can do this all day. Yeah, I know. Oh my god! <laughs> He's like, God, I'm annoying. <laughs> <laughs> he knows his own kryptonite is Bucky, so that's all he had to say. <laughs> that is America's ass. <laughs> He's like, damn, I got a good ass. <laughs> oh wow. It's strange is meant to be the best of us. So I must have done it for a reason. I fear you might be right. Wow. Thank you. What are you doing? Oh! Oh! My God. I see with my mother's eyes. You know. Oh. I'm totally from the future. Oh! 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 I'm so glad he got a hug from his mom. Oh God! What am I at? Oh, sometimes it takes a second. Uh, oh, he's gonna get. Oh, he got his old hammer back. <laughs> oh yay! Oh my gosh! Yes, he's still worthy. And this is the song from Guardians of the Galaxy. Yes, this is the scene. Yes, Quill. <laughs> Leave the little lizard alone. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> so he's an idiot. <laughs> oh. <gasps> Ooh. Fucking hell. Look what that did to her hand and her arm. Oh, what? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh shit! Oh! Here we go. They're going a. Uh... Oh man! They're going to 1970. Hey, man. You'll make <gasps> Stan! Yeah. He's lost cameo. Nice. Aren't you in there? Aren't <gasps> oh, it's his dad. It's his dad. Doors this way, pal. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Yeah. Mm. Dutch pimp? Hank, yes. Well, that's oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm confused. I Look at him. Gone. Sir, the box is glowing, and to be honest, some of our male guys aren't feeling that great. He knows. Uh, yeah, they did. You better get down here. Excuse me. Out of the way. <laughs> That's how you get him out. <laughs> Pim particles. They got more. Bloody brilliant. Yes. Peggy. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. No amount of money ever bought a second. Mm. Smart guy. I'll tell you that kid's not even here yet, and there's nothing I wouldn't do for him. Aww. It's so nice to have him hear this as well, because his dad didn't really have these kind of talks with Tony growing up. Thank you. Aww. <laughs> it's like, dude, I just met you. <laughs> Jarvis? Jarvis! Did he just say Jarvis? Oh my god. 
Wow, so now we know why Tony chose Jarvis as his robot's name and why it has that voice. <laughs> no. I feel like Natasha's gonna sacrifice herself because she probably feels like she has nothing. You know what I have to go. Well, I don't judge people on their worst mistakes. Oh, of course not. You win. She. So she's definitely. Oh! Tell my family I love them. No! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh! Oh shit! Dude, they're never gonna. They're never gonna jump off that. Oh sh. Well, maybe I'm speaking too soon. Is he gonna do it? But he has a family. Oh! Oh no! They both did it! Oh. Oh, I can't. I can't watch this. Oh. Oh no, they had to show the blood. He's got it. He's got the stone. They can't be undone. Oh, that's at least what the red floating guy had to say. Maybe you want to go talk to him, okay? And you go fly and you talk to him. <sighs> it's supposed to be me. Oh. Sacrifice her life for that goddamn stone. She put her life on it. Oh, fuck. I'm not coming back. Wow, an Iron Man <gasps> created Infinity Arm. Fucking hell. <laughs> but the radiation's mostly gamma. Oh yeah, that's it's true. I was made for this. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I am concerned. I'm deeply concerned. Oh, oh wow. <gasps> Oh, did he? Laura's calling. Oh my gosh. <laughs> They're back. I, I think it worked. <gasps> oh shit. Oh my god. They figured it out. And now they're in the timeline. Let's see. What the fuck is that? Oh my god. Hellhounds. Space hellhounds? Here it comes, sisters. Oh. We can stop them. Oh, that's all she needed to hear. That's so lovely. That is really lovely. <gasps> yes! I have been wanting to see him use his powers. I know what I must do. I oh, will fuck. shred this universe down to its last atom. Create a new one. Teeming so with his, his mission has completely changed. Oh, wow. Two hammers. You can change. Yes. Oh! 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 Oh no, no, not the... Oh fuck! What? No, 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 no! Oh! What? What? Captain America can... Oh! 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 He can wield it! Holy shit! Oh my god! This is fucking poggers, dude! Wow! Oh, dude! Wow! I did not know Captain America was capable! Oh my god, his shield is broken! 
That shield can withstand anything. Sam. On your left. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Hell to the mother freaking yeah! Thank Flip. They're here. Oh, Chadwick. Take this, Thanos. Doctor Strange, Mantis, Drax. Oh my God, Star Lord. Even though he fucked up in Infinity War. And Spider-Man. Oh, this is iconic. Bucky, Groody. Wanda. Wow. Everyone's here. Oh, hope. Oh my God. Pepper too. Holy shit. Ant-Man. Giant man! <laughs> Avengers! Yes, they're all Avengers! Attack! Assemble. Oh! Oh, hell yeah! Oh, shit! Never has this Avengers theme music. Never has it hit me this hard. Never has it been so powerful. <laughs> no, no, give me that. You have the little one. <laughs> it's been five years. Come on, they need us. And then he starts oh. the sparkly thing that he does all the time. What are you doing? Oh, my heart. Oh, oh this is nice. This is so special. <laughs> oh. Gamora? Oh, shit. Oh. oh my god, that moment. You missed the first time. Oh, that moment. Got both the second time. Oh god. <laughs> this is the one? Seriously? Your choices were him or a tree. <laughs> uh, maybe ten minutes. Get it oh. started. We'll get the stones to you. We're on it, Cap. <laughs> she called him Cap too. <laughs> Oh, God's sakes. No. Oh, yes. Yes. You took everything from me. I don't even know who you are. <laughs> you will. Yes, go under. <gasps> oh, dude, she's amazing. Something just entered the upper atmosphere. Okay. Oh, it's Captain Marvel. It's got to be. She she hasn't she hasn't done an, anything in a while. Yup. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Her confidence is definitely justified. Hi, She's <laughs> Peter Parker. She's got help. Wow. It is so flippin' good to see Pepper in a suit. I gotta say. Shit. No! 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 Oh, for God's sakes. Oh no, he's got one! Oh, he's literally like, no. No, you are not taking that. Oh my god. <gasps> what? Oh my god. Oh, what? Can Iron Man even can Can he even do that? Is that possible? I Iron Man. Iron Man. Iron Man. Oh yes! <laughs> Snap, bitch. Take that. <laughs> Oh my god, he's turning into ash. Oh, that is aesthetically pleasing. What is like the visual 
version of ASMR because I literally got VSMR right now. Oh my god, Tony's dying though. Hey, Mrs. Stark, can you hear me? Oh, for fuck's sakes. God, I started out hating this man and now I've cried for him twice. He can listen. Oh god. <sighs> His light went out. Oh, God. Oh. So I thought mm. I'd probably better record a little greeting in the case of an untimely death. What a funeral. <laughs> I love you 3,000. Oh, my God. <sighs> oh, God. Proof that Tony Stark has a heart. Oh, my heart really hurts. You know why it hurts so much? Because he did it all out of selflessness. And I started off thinking that he was the most selfish asshole that I have ever seen in any film or TV show that I had ever seen. And he went out doing something so selfless for the rest of the world despite the fact that he has a family and he and he wanted to he didn't want to give that up he made that abundantly clear but when it came down to it tony stark has a heart he does oh man fury <laughs> so good to see fury oh god i'm such a mess i have no path i do have a ride though move it or lose it airbag oh wow he's gonna go into space that's awesome i really want to know what the galaxy back together again uh... <laughs> <too far. laughs> we should fight one another for the honor of leadership it's oh my pain. god it's not necessary it's not <laughs> I got some blasters unless you get it. It's the best thing! Please, use knives. Yeah, knives. <laughs> Grits on board. There shall be no knifing one another. Everybody knows <laughs> who's in charge. <laughs> hey. <Right>. Yes, you. <laughs> <laughs> this is so awkward. <laughs> What the heck? What the heck? Is ha Oh, I know. I know what he's done. He's gone back to his skinny self. Or his child self? Or his old self? I don't know anymore. Oh, his old self. I said, maybe I'll try some of that life Tony was telling me to get. It was beautiful. Oh. That makes me really happy to hear. That's a really good ending for him. He's gonna give his suit to him. Wow! Now it's Bucky's turn to turn old again. <laughs> and they can be old besties together. You wanna tell me about her? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I don't think I will. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 Oh, that makes me really happy. He got a second chance with her. Oh. God, I love love. There's no end credit scenes. I'm not used to that. What's happened? <laughs> that makes me so sad. So it's been a really long day. It is now 9.53 p.m. and I got my hair done this very day and I got it in memory of Gamora. And I don't know, a little part of me thought that maybe a version of her would still exist. But sadly, Gamora, is Nomura. <laughs> She's definitely Nomura, just like 
The Black Widow. And it does make me sad. This movie was really sad. The first two hours was super depressing. Uh, you could probably tell that whilst I was reacting to it. I was in a pretty somber mood. The mood was definitely not upbeat. I was definitely not feeling as bubbly and as chirpy as some of the other films have made me feel. And that was to be expected because this film is the conclusion of this grand story that we've been following along for well, you guys have been following along for 10 years. I've been following along for a few months now um, and it just came to a close. So mixed feelings is pretty much a given, I think, for this one. Um, the first two hours was a little bit slow because we were just kind of catching up with what was going on. It was 23 days after Infinity War and we were just catching up on how everybody's feeling five years after they first approached Tony. They actually start making movements with their new mission. Pretty sure we got to see pretty much every single MCU character except for probably Jane's friends. It was really nostalgic. I can't imagine how you guys would have felt seeing all of these scenes because you had the actual weight that that I didn't have. I saw these all very recently, so it's not as nostalgic for me. I'm sure I'll feel nostalgic after a few more years if I decide to rewatch Endgame. There was definitely a lot to unpack. I feel like everyone, including Tony, had a really nice conclusion. Obviously, Tony passed away, he died, he is no longer a father to his beautiful daughter Morgan, he's no longer a husband to his beautiful Peppa, but uh, the way he went out was really noble and really honorable and I don't think that anybody else could have done it. He started this amazing world with Iron Man and I really couldn't have imagined it to go any other way. I mean sure maybe the Hulk could have done it. It wouldn't have had the payoff as it did uh, with Tony because Tony's character development has just gone full circle. I could not be more proud of Tony and how far he's come. I do want to talk about Thor as well because I feel like he had definitely the saddest story that we've seen. He is on his own now. He joined the outcasts, the guardians of the galaxy. Everyone in that crew doesn't really have a family or a place to belong but they belong with each other. So I am glad that Thor got to have a place to belong in the end because he lost all of his family members. He lost all of his best friends, Sif included. And you know how I feel about Sif and Thor. I wanted them to have a happy ending and a nice romance, but that never happened. And his character definitely changed a lot throughout this entire series. We saw him as a very arrogant <laughs> jerk in the first Thor movie. And then he found love and he ex got to experience Earth and what it was like to be amongst humans. And he experienced loss and he experienced family drama, <laughs> including his crazy sister Hela and his chaotic brother Loki constantly testing his character. I especially like how Taika Waititi made Thor a lot less boring in the third Thor film, so I certainly appreciated his style of directing in that one. Um, I was super sad to see Natasha go the way she did, but Hawkeye has a family, has a wife, and Natasha, as sad as it is, she doesn't really have any of that. She was quite alone. All she really had was the Avengers, so I pretty much predicted that Natasha would die. I did not think originally that Tony Stark would die. I did see someone say that that Tony Stark would die because I asked people to give me fake spoilers. I assumed it was a fake spoiler. That was certainly really unexpected for me. I really liked seeing Captain America's conclusion as well. I really liked the ending Clint got as well. And then also seeing Ant-Man and Hope and Cassie in the end as well embracing. There were a lot of heartwarming moments for sure. I love seeing Wanda again. I love seeing Captain Marvel again and Doctor Strange. A lot of people showed up to do their bit, but we didn't get all the screen time with them. So if they happen to be your favorite characters, you might have been a bit disappointed, but for me, I was quite happy with how everything panned out. It didn't have the comedy element that some of the other MCU movies have, but I think that if 
there was comedy in this or if I had laughed as much as I did in say Thor or Guardians of the Galaxy or even Avengers the first one it wouldn't have felt like the conclusion of a huge superhero franchise. I must say that I didn't think they would dive into time travel in the quantum realm but once Ant-Man made an appearance and he came out of the quantum realm and he observed his findings and he learned and he came up with this hypothesis I was like this is starting to make sense they might be able to time travel without the time travel infinity stone and when I was wrapping up my infinity war movie reaction video I was saying something like if there is a way they can go back in time or if there's a way to go to Thanos get the time infinity stone there might be a way to bring people back and I wasn't exactly right but they definitely did use time to try and save their story and I'm glad they did it in a less obvious way in a way that tied into everything very well and it made a lot of sense. I think the pacing could have been a little bit better if I were to rank the Avengers Infinity War movie against the Avengers Endgame movie I'd probably say I was more invested in Infinity War just because I really loved the pacing and there was comedy there was action there were a lot of emotional moments it was heavy it was deep and Thanos won which completely shook me because it skewed my perception of what a typical superhero movie is we've got the superhero genre that tells us that the hero has a journey and this is the way it's meant to be and that didn't happen in Infinity War so it just shocked me to my core I was very thrown because I knew that after Endgame there was Spider-Man I did know in my heart of hearts that the heroes will end up winning um, whereas in Infinity War I had no idea and that aspect threw me off it, I think it was Infinity War where I saw everybody dying in the first 10 minutes and I was like what the heck is going on whereas with Endgame I was a little bit more prepared and more well oiled for the tragedy so those were my thoughts I'm sorry that it was kind of all over the place and so I might not have said everything that I wanted to say but those were all of my thoughts at this very moment after I have watched Endgame. They're quite raw. I'll probably have more things to say about it as time progresses. So yeah, let me know what you guys thought of this film in the comment section below the first time you watched it and give this video a big thumbs up because it really helps my channel out. The uncut version of this video is available on Patreon. Link is in the description bar below. Thank you so much for joining me. It hasn't come to an end. We have so much stuff to get through together in 2021. I'm so excited hit that subscribe button and turn on bell notifications so you never miss a video from my channel. Thanks again, take care of yourselves and I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone!